Allah created us and He put us inside of a storm. Okay, like imagine a storm in, in the ocean. You're in a storm. And the waves are turbulent and you've got your little boat, etc. And you're constantly worried about sinking. And you're worried about those who are sinking next to you. But Allah Azza wa Jal, what, what does the faith do? It gives you the strength and it gives you the ability to go through the storm, to navigate the storm. It doesn't mean you don't get wet. It doesn't mean sometimes the boat almost doesn't tip over. But you now have the ability to go through it and survive the storm. You see, that's the purpose of our faith. is not to get rid of the problem, but to actually strengthen us so we can go through the problem. Now, I want to give you an example. The, the, the two of the hardest burdens that human beings live with, fear and grief. Those are the two heaviest burdens that human beings live with in this life. As a matter of fact, when Allah sent Adam السلام, to the earth, He told him that when He gives His guidance, whoever follows my guidance, they're going to be able to combat fear and, and sadness, essentially. In other words, Allah knew that in the story of humanity from Adam السلام, to the last human being that's going to walk on this earth, every one of them is going to have to struggle with fear and they're going to have to struggle with sadness. Now what are these two things? Fear is about what's going to happen in the future. Fear is about am I going to lose my job? Let's say a student is afraid of failing an exam. Up until the moments of the exam, there's fear, fear, the heart is pounding. And they take the exam and then unfortunately they get the result that they failed. And when they fail, there's no more fear, there's now sadness, right? Now there's sadness about what happened. So fear is about the future and sadness is about the past, what, what already took place in the past. And just because it's in the past, you don't get to tell someone, well, it's in the past, get over it. No, you and I are not in any position to tell anyone that they are no longer, they no longer have the right to feel sad anymore. Our Messenger وسلم, continued to feel the sadness of the absence of Khadija for years, for years. Feeling sad is not a sign that you don't have enough faith. That's a, I mean, he has the greatest faith of all, and yet he carries sadness. Yaqub lost his son Yusuf and he carries a great amount of sadness. So much so that he cries so much, his eyes turn white, his eyes turn white out of sadness. But that's part of, that doesn't mean he doesn't have faith in Allah.